हेलो गाइस इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द लाइफ साइकिल ऑफ थ्रेड इफ यू सी माय प्रीवियस ट्यूटोरियल दिस ट्यूटोरियल यू कैन इजीली अंडरस्टैंड सो लाइफ साइकिल ऑफ थ्रेड मींस हाउ द थ्रेड एक्चुअली वर्किंग फ्रॉम वेयर इट स्टार्ट हाउ इट वर्क एंड वेयर इट एम दैट इज व्हाट द लाइफ साइकिल ऑफ थ्रेड मींस यू कैन से द वर्किंग प्रोसेस ऑफ द थ्रेड and you can say also it's a starting point middle and the end point of a thread so for doing the, uh, this description there are some stages of the thread life cycle so these stages are new new means you can say the starting point of the thread here the last one is terminated so you can say it's a ending point of thread so running runnable and block these are the intermediate stages so we will discuss this all the stages in the thread so there is a diagrammatic representation here it's a newborn stage newborn means new stage means you can say it's a starting point and then we have runnable stage second stage so for going into runnable stage or you can say for going from one point to another point we need certain method and that is what start method so here the second stage is runnable later on we will discuss next one is running stage so running and the runnable they are closely related how they are closely related that we will discuss and in between two there is a yield method between two stages one method is there and then from here non runnable means block stage so here it's a block stage it is connected with runnable and the running stage so in between block and running there are two method here sleep and wait and here in between notify and notify all and then last one is terminated that is the dead stage dead is the terminated is the last stage after that means you can say your thread program will stop so it is having these stages like newborn runnable running dead and block so these stages we will discuss in this tutorial so first one is new stage so here in the new stage as soon as you create a new thread it is in new state okay and it remain in this state till program start the thread using its start method so here you can see in the diagram new means it is the first stage that is newborn stage so in the newborn stage we just create the thread object for example in a simple program we create the object of the class for its execution and then in the thread class we create the thread object so simply creating thread object that is known as the newborn stage so it is in the new stage once you use start method then it will switch on runnable stage okay so there is a connection between newborn and runnable for making this connection there is a start method so friend newborn stage means just creating the thread object how to create thread object that we will see in the next tutorial so here you should keep in mind newborn stage means just to create the thread object later on we will then do the execution of thread so for moving into newborn into runnable stage there is a start method once you use start method your thread will go in the runnable stage next one is runnable so the thread is in runnable state after invocation of start method so as i told you once you use start method it will go in runnable stage but the thread scheduler has not selected e to be the running stage so runnable stage means it is waiting for its turn for the execution and once the execution will start it will jump on running stage so running stage is attached to the sorry runnable stage is connected with the running stage okay it is also connected with the block also but here the important connectivity in between runnable and running so running runnable means what after the start method we will go into the runnable stage and runnable stage means you can say the thread is waiting for its turn so that it will give some output like to show the values from 1 to 5 1 to 10 so it is just waiting stage you can say it is waiting for its turn for the execution so the runnable stage thread always wait 
to go in the running stage so that's why here the two arrows are there and then in the running that is important stage the thread is in running state if the thread scheduler has selected it so as i told you after start there is a runnable stage then once the thread is starting its execution it will go into the running stage so running stage is very important running means showing output from 1 to 10 1 to 5 like that so from running stage sometime the thread goes to the runnable stage also so here the runnable stage means it is just temporary stop the output and waiting for its turn and running thread means currently execution of thread and runnable you can say it just pause the output of the program and after some time it will start so there is a connection between runnable and running and in between yield method is there so here the friend yield method of thread class causes currently executing thread object to temporary pause and allow other thread of same priority to execute so here the yield method is very important and many uh, student they get the confusion about the yield method so running means as i told you thread showing the output that is known as running but sometime suppose the thread which is showing the output from 1 to 100 and one thread is present in runnable stage that is waiting for its turn to show the output from 1 to 5 and here it show the output from 1 to 100 then in that case we are the thread which show output 1 to 5 it will take less time and in such a case both thread having same priority then here the scheduler first give chance to those thread which shows the less values okay but the condition is their priority should be same or higher okay so here the important point is it allow other thread of same priority to execute suppose here its priority is high and in this thread the priority is low then in such a case it will not give chance to low priority thread so that priority thread topic we will discuss later on here you should keep in mind the yield method means it give chance to other thread for its execution but when when both the thread have you can say the same priority if this one is high and this one is low priority then it will not give chance okay even though it is showing the uh, less number of values understood so in such a case we use the yield method in the program so you got the topic what is runnable and what is running running means just showing output runnable means it is waiting and once it will get a chance it will move from runnable into running stage and once the program temporary pause then it will go from running into runnable stage like that it will happen so that's why from both sides the arrows are there and whenever thread will go from running into runnable stage there is a use of yield method in the program now block stage block stage is very simple for understanding whenever you want to stop thread for a specific time okay or you want to convert the thread into wait stage then you use the such kind of method sleep and wait later on we will see the example of sleep and wait so if you want to stop the execution of thread temporary then we use this sleep and wait method so by using this two method you can stop the execution of thread temporary okay not permanently so that is what the block stage so this thread when the thread is still live but it is currently not eligible to run so it just stop the execution for a specific time and once you start the execution you use notify and notify all okay what i told once you start the execution and once you want to convert it from block to again running stage then you use notify notify all so because of that block stage thread will go into runnable then later on runnable will go into running one point is very important thread can't directly go into running running stage it will first go into runnable once the thread is newborn stage it will also go in runnable once it is in block it will also go in runnable stage and it waits for it turn and then it will go into the running stage so for going from block to runnable stage we have notify and notify all method 
नेक्स्ट वन इज टर्मिनेटेड और थ्रेड एंटर इन टर्मिनेटेड स्टेट वेन इट हैज कंप्लीटेड एग्जीक्यूशन सो थ्रेड टर्मिनेशन इज द लास्ट स्टेज ऑफ द थ्रेड एग्जीक्यूशन एज आई टोल्ड यू एट द बिगिनिंग दैट इज नोन एज द डेट स्टेज फॉर दैट वी यूज स्टॉप मेथड वंस यू यूज स्टॉप मेथड इन द प्रोग्राम द थ्रेड एग्जीक्यूशन विल स्टॉप परमानेंटली देन इट विल नॉट गो बैक इन दिस ऑल द स्टेजेस so here the newborn and you can say terminated stage it start only once and these stages like runnable running block here the circle is there you can observe going from here to here 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 so these things can can happen more than once but the newborn and dead stage happen only once for starting we use newborn and at the ending we use the dead stage in the program so this is just theoretical explanation in the program and in the in the next tutorial we will see how you can create the actual thread program so don't forget to see the next tutorial and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you